16 WAPT News at 6 starts now. Safety is the number one key, though. The days of heavy rain that have plagued the area could turn to snow. What schools are doing to prepare? And Governor Phil Bryant is challenging the president's new stance on gun control. Why he says it's unconstitutional. Plus, why Vicksburg has been voted as one of the must-see spots in the entire world. Now, your weather first. Well, we've been talking about the possibility for the last couple of days of snow. Well, still a chance of it. There is uh, the rain. It's moved to our east for now, which is good news. But over to the maps, an upper level low, which is actually the system which is going to kick things out and actually uh, begin to uh, change the weather pattern. But out ahead of the upper level low, which is in east Texas, right there, you can see some rain beginning to redevelop in central Louisiana. And after midnight or so, as the rain begins to spread in later tonight, could begin to get cold around midnight that the rain begins to change over to snow and it looks like between say midnight and 7 a.m. or so as that upper level low crosses the area we will see a period of snow and then shifting over into the eastern parts of the state where it could be heaviest first thing tomorrow morning several inches of snow possible on the east side of the metro area i'll have those snowfall accumulations for the entire area coming up Thank you, David. We continue to follow some breaking news tonight in Jackson. Police are on the scene of a possible shooting involving a child and a school bus. We know it's near Tree of Life Church on Monticello Drive in Jackson. We have 16 WAPT's Meg Pace live there to fill in all those details for us. Meg. Well, Darren, Stephanie, we learned just around 5 o'clock that someone did fire shots at a Jackson school bus. Now, this bus right here behind me is not one of the buses that was involved. You see every year we still have one Jackson police officer left, and that white car is someone with the Jackson Public School District. That is where the school bus pulled over off of Monticello Road. It has since left. Now, some students on the bus told me they saw at least two teens walking down this road that fired shots at the school bus, they think using a BB gun. We did see one bullet hole in a back window and a student told us that one student on the bus was injured she was shot in the neck but they believe by a bb gun she was she had a little bit of bleeding but is believed to be okay now the pastor here at the church we were standing this is a church parking lot he said he didn't hear anything until he saw the police lights that were out here came outside that school bus was full of students several parents came and picked kids up very worried obviously another jackson school bus came and picked up the rest and has left no suspects right now we're still waiting on some more details from Jackson Police. Reporting live in Jackson, Meg Pace, 16 WAPT News. All right, Meg, thank you so much. Once again, two teens uh, accused of firing shots at a bus, and we understand a student was injured. This was on Monticello Drive. We'll have much more on the story as soon as we get it. A pellet gun. Yes, a saying, pellet gun. And one girl was hit in the neck, but she was going to be okay. And we're also following more breaking news tonight, mm -hmm. Darren. This is on Highway 49. Traffic slow between Florence and Richland. Yeah, that's because of a tractor trailer that crossed the median and crashed into a ditch. 16 WAPT's Aaron Kelly is live with more on that breaking news. Aaron. Well, good evening, Darren. We are in the northbound lane here, and you can see it's up down to one lane here across the median there. It's uh, two lanes moving okay going south. Now, look at back here. You can see that tractor trailer that's lit up. That's because they are offloading it. That's the one that was involved in the wreck that went down into a ditch. They've got a, a big job, a job ahead of them tonight. The Florence Fire Chief says the 18-wheeler crashed with three other vehicles going south. It lost control. It went over the median into the northbound traffic that it ended up in a ditch. Now, the chief says four people were sent to the hospital, but their injuries are not life-threatening. The truck was carrying 40,000 pounds of frozen chicken. I would imagine it probably takes a couple, three hours to offload. Going to have to offload it by hand. And then probably a couple, three hours, maybe an hour or two to get it out. And then we've got a hazardous material spill that we got to clean up after that. Now, crews say they'll need two big wreckers to get this out. They're going to need four cables to pull it out. And they say it could be close to 11 o'clock tonight before they clear the area. So they are asking drivers to avoid this area if at all possible because they may have to close both uh, areas of traffic again just to get this out of the area. Live in Florence, Aaron Kelly, 16 WAPT News.
All right, Aaron, thank you so much. We've had nine straight days of snow. Now the concern turn, uh, of rain, now the concern turns to snow and the threat for snow overnight in our state. School districts right now watching and planning what to do about classes tomorrow. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons is live with what area schools are doing to address that snow threat, Scott. Well, right now they're watching weather reports from David Hartman and trying to decide if they need to cancel classes tomorrow. Where we're standing right now, the roads are pretty wet, but take a look at the spotlight. It gives you a good idea of what we're dealing with. A lot of precipitation coming down. You know, there's no free days to miss school, even though some school kids probably right now have their fingers crossed. It's wet and you can make balls. A fine mist outside Northside Elementary in Clinton. I like to make snowmen with snow. Inside, kids are talking about if snow is on the way. Educators are trying to keep kids focused. It's just like any other day in elementary school. You know, it's hard keeping their mind off of Monday's a holiday. Clinton administrators are watching and waiting, hoping they won't have to cancel classes. Oh, come on. No. You'd rather be at home playing in snow? Yeah. Maybe. No. Kids may be hoping, but it's a there tough decision for school administrators. Safety's the number one key, though. Tim Martin tells me he won't be the only one out on the road tomorrow morning before most parents and kids wake up. Uh, our maintenance director, superintendent, myself, um, five in the morning, out riding the streets, looking at bridges. Uh, our, our district covers a lot of ground. That is the key, because if the roads in the rural areas are unsafe because of snow or ice, like we're seeing in North Mississippi, then the rest of the district will shut down for the day. There was also a plan to start the day later. Uh, and we'll, we have mechanisms in place where we would start school at, at 9 for elementary and 9.30 to 10 o'clock for high school so we don't miss a day. Because some kids we talked to already know if they miss Thursday because of snow or ice, they have to make it up. Right now where we're standing, as you can tell, it's just a lot of water on the ground. No ice. It's certainly not cold enough. You know, Clinton has already had two bad weather days built in the calendar. One day they had to use up because of Hurricane Isaac. So that means they go to school Good Friday. If they have another bad weather day they have to miss because of tomorrow, well, then they give up Easter Monday. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Okay, Scott, thank you so much. All right, let's check in again with David to get the latest on this uh, possible snow threat to hit the area. Well, you know, right now, I don't think the roads are going to get bad at all. They're very warm. Temperatures are above freezing. May get to freezing, but I think roadways stay wet. There are going to be some accumulations of the grass and rooftops, especially on the east side of the viewing area from Jackson off to the east. In fact, as we head through the morning hours, uh, there could be some very heavy snowfall over between Meridian and Columbus. That's an area to watch. For us, you know, a dusting an inch or so certainly possible across parts of the area i'll show you my accumulation forecast coming up in a few minutes i will right, see you then thank you david well today president obama laid out his proposals to curb gun violence with stiffer gun control laws the president calls for universal background checks for anyone buying weapons a 10 round limit for magazine clips and a ban on all military style assault weapons 16 wapt sammy eswick has how both sides are responding to president obama's proposals in this developing story. Something we Minutes after the president made his proposal for new gun laws. If there's even one life that can be saved, then we've got an obligation to try. GOP and, leaders uh, in Mississippi fired sure back. That. Guns do not kill people. People kill people. Let's enforce the gun laws we have in the book. Governor Phil Bryan says he's against restricting the number of bullets to a clip. Uh, if you're being threatened, you want all the firepower you can get to save your life and that of your children. But more than 10, is that necessary? Uh, it depends on how many people are breaking into your home. How many people are trying to take your life? How many of those rounds do you miss? Uh, certainly, as I said, we've been making weapons since the uh, 1800s that hold 10 rounds. Uh, so I need as many as I need to protect my children. He's also ready to fight any ban on military-style assault weapons. When Luke Woodham went into Pearl High School, if I remember correctly, he was using a lever action 30-30. So if we're going to start t blaming the weapon, at where do we stop? Would it be a shotgun, a rifle, a high-powered rifle, only 22s? This is a dangerous path that we're starting down. Today, Governor Bryant drafted this letter demanding legislation to block the president's plan. Meantime, Momentum Pawn Shop says customers rushed into the store right after the president's speech Wednesday. Today, after the um, announcement was made on national television, we had a uh, several hours of just a frenzied gun buying. Kevin McDonald says the new rules will make it harder to replenish some ammo. Downside to that is, 
uh, once we are out and get low on inventory, it's extremely difficult for us to order any more. So, uh, you know, this is kind of like a big wave, and then I think we're going to have a lull because we're not going to be able to uh, receive the merchandise. State Republican leaders say they've already drafted a bill that will get around the president's new regulations. One would allow a gun manufacturer who makes weapons in Mississippi to sell them to private residents. In Jackson, Tammy Swick, 16, WAPT News. The governor says he does agree with background checks for all gun sales. Well, Rankin County authorities need your help tonight to find a trustee that walked away from a work detail. Kevin Dwayne Hopkins walked off a work detail around 2 p.m. this afternoon at the Rankin County Animal Control in Brandon. He was serving time for misdemeanor shoplifting charges out of Richland. He was last seen leaving in a 2,000 white four-door Saturn with Mississippi license plate RFS. 645. If you know his whereabouts, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 601 355 TIPS. A second woman charged in a deadly butt injection case pleaded not guilty today. 39 year old Natasha Stewart faces four charges, including murder and wire fraud. The Memphis native's attorney said she received the same butt injections that killed 37 year old Karima Gordon back in March. Stewart's trial date is set for July 22nd. Tracy Lynn Gardner also faces charges in this case. Her trial date is April 8th. They proudly serve their country. Now Governor Phil Bryan wants to make sure Mississippi employers consider hiring local veterans. And Vicksburg is a gem on the Mississippi River. And AAA says it's a must-see. The big-time list the River City just made. Right now, temperatures above freezing, cloudy and drizzly. The steadier rains have moved out for now. We have one last blast of rain and even some snow to move through. Then it gets a lot better. Lots to talk about. All the details are coming up. You're watching 16 WAPT News. The Associated Press Best Newscast in Mississippi and an Emmy Award for Best Newscast in the Southeast Region. This is 16 WAPT News, the one to watch. Thursday, it's been a cold, wet winter. Heavy rains, flooding, even mudslides wreaking havoc. We'll show you what the rest of the season will be like and how prepared we are for its wrath. Thursday on 16 WAPT News at 10. Imagine a place in your home where you can stretch out and truly relax. If you can dream it, Miss Kelly's can make it happen. Our selection of motion furniture is virtually endless. Let your imagination run wild at Miss Kelly's. And now we're riding about a martini band. times happen when you bring it. Bring the famous crystal. Now just $2.99 gets you three, yes, three hot off the grill crystals, fries, and a drink just $2.99. Now at Crystal. I believe the produce you find at Kroger is better than anywhere else. Every kind of meat I put out is absolutely fresh. At Kroger, we're focused on quality. I'm focused on quality. I'm, I'm focused, focused on, on quality. quality. Get more value for the way you live. Every day at Kroger. This week, you can pick up juicy Sanderson Farms whole fryers, drumsticks, or thighs for just 88 cents a pound. And delicious bone-in Smithfield shank half hams are only 99 cents a pound. Get more value for the way you live at Kroger. As the official pizza sponsor of Super Bowl 47, Papa John's is excited for this week's big matchups. Get a large one-topping Papa John's pizza for only $10. Or choose any large, even specialties, just $2 more. Order now at PapaJohns.com. This will go down as the tour of the year. Woo! If they can just make it. Please get off my stage. To opening night. You've been served. Nashville. All new tonight, 10, 9 central on ABC. A day after Walmart announced it would hire 100,000 veterans that just returned home from service, Governor Phil Bryant is pledging to help Mississippi veterans. It's called a pledge to hire Mississippi heroes. The governor wants veterans on a priority list for being hired with potential employers. More than just a handshake or a pat on the back, we should offer them an opportunity when they return. Let us make you this the year to hire Mississippi heroes. That proclamation goes into effect immediately. 
When you think of must-see places in the world, you probably think of Paris, Acapulco, or Sydney. Ah, but according to AAA, Vicksburg is a must-see place in 2013. Vicksburg was one of four American cities to get the distinction of a must-see place. Other places on the list were Las Vegas, Orlando, and San Francisco. The distinction comes on the 150th anniversary of the siege of Vicksburg during the Civil War. War. Here's a look at how your stocks did today. The Dow finished down 24 points. The Nasdaq is up 7 points. Local stocks now. Energy was down 28 cents and Toyota is down $1.78. David has your complete forecast. After the break, you are watching 16 WAPT News at 6. Some say it's better to be lucky than good. But luck can't take the credit when both of your sedans have that rare combination of technology performance, and fuel efficiency. Chrysler 200 and 300. Sometimes it's better just to be better. Now get 3,000 cash allowance on Chrysler 200 sedan or 3,500 total cash allowance on 300 C models. At Kroger Money Services, I can cash my paycheck fast. I can pay utilities, my cable bill, and more. I can send money to family and friends within the U.S. or worldwide. I can pick up cash right here at Money Services. And they're friendly and helpful. We make it easy to manage your money, and you can do it right where you buy your groceries. It couldn't be more convenient. At Kroger Money Services, you can cash your tax refund check or load your refund right onto a 123 Rewards prepaid card. Get your choice for your check at Kroger. I believe we're making the most dependable trucks on the market. We're making Toyota trucks. And we build them better than they have to be. Right here in America. We're not making them for Ford or Chevy. Toyota. 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 The Toyota Tundra. The truck is dependable as the people who make them. Come see what we're building. Get zero for 60 plus 3,000 cash on a 2013 Tundra Crew Max TSS edition for a total savings over $7,000. Toyota, let's go places. The kitchen is smoky, and the place is just cool. Pan-Asia presents amazing cuisine and surroundings guaranteed to impress. The inside is like some big city um, style, and it's beautiful inside. It's a great relaxing atmosphere to come and meet with your girlfriend. The food here is it's different. It's, it's not like food you're going to get at any other restaurant in town. Voted Best Asian for 2008 through 2012 by Jackson Free Press readers. Pan-Asia, the place to be. Last year, over 3,000 folks got their best price from Watson Quality Ford. To show our thanks for making Watson Quality Ford number one in Mississippi, we're offering our biggest truck discount ever. Right now, save over $10,000 off the 2013 F-150s. That's $10,000 off the number one truck in America. You won't find a better Ford truck deal anywhere. Being number one has its benefits. That's how we're going to stay number one in 2013. And that's why you always win with the, the home, home team. team. All right, good news. The steadier and heavier rains have moved out for now, but it will be foggy and drizzly for the evening. In fact, uh, I can show that to you on our live sky cam. Hilton cam, temperatures are above freezing and traffic is moving along, but there it is, foggy and drizzly. Let's get right to it. Not much of a temperature range today. 36 the high, 34 the low. Half inch of rain today. In fact, 36 is the current temperature uh, outside, and the winds are out of the north-northwest at 9 miles per hour. The big question, will we get some snow? And I think, yes, we will get some snow, but pinpointing where the heaviest snow will be is going to be the challenge. Vicksburg, Jackson, Natchez, all at 36. So as this upper level low comes in from the west later on the evening, it will start to rain again. I don't really expect any kind of a changeover to uh, snow until close to midnight, give or take a little bit either side of that. So the rain train is drying up, and there goes our last big disturbance, which has uh, really continued for about the last two weeks. Now this upper level low is getting ready to move into western Louisiana, and you can already see it is beginning to generate some rain over here in central Louisiana. So this will swing right across the central and southern parts of the state in the middle of the night. And that's when we can see a round of rain changing to snow. And there it is about midnight, 2 a.m., the low crossing the river near Natchez. Some rain and snow across the area. Continuing while you sleep and then shifting quickly to the east first thing in the morning. So there could be a little lingering snow, especially on the east side of the uh, metro area first thing in the morning but by afternoon I expect temperatures up well up into the 40s and sunshine to come out as things clear up so 